Hey guys, so for this week's video, I want to talk about the binge and burnout cycle. I think this cycle is crucial to be aware of and to understand because I think a lot of moms are stuck in this cycle and they don't know it. And even worse, they don't know how to get out. That was certainly my case before I started my peaceful homekeeping system. I always felt like I was working my butt off and I had nothing to show for it. And I suspected that there is a better way to get things done and to feel more peaceful in my home, but I just didn't know like where to start. And so today I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit and exposing it and also explaining a little bit why it doesn't work. This is content that was recorded from the Peaceful Homekeeping Challenge on Sundays. Well, in the month of August 2020 and the month of September 2020, I um, will meet with a group of ladies who are interested in building their peaceful homekeeping systems. And so we meet on Sundays to discuss. And so this is actually an excerpt from that um, meeting that we had on Sunday. And so I wanted to share it with you guys, for those of you guys who are not following the homekeeping challenge, because I still think that it's important to know. And um, if you are interested in the homekeeping challenge or you're not signed up, it's not too late to join. Um, make sure that you go ahead and sign up for the email link down below. And if you're watching this and it's after the Peaceful Homekeeping Challenge, so anytime after September 2020, then you definitely want to sign up as well because I'll let you know when we are ready for the next challenge. So I hope that you guys will find this um, informative and let me know if it's relatable if you guys kind of get where I'm going with this. And uh, I look forward to speaking with you guys in the comments. All right, I will see you guys next week. Let's talk about the binge and burnout cycle. This is where I feel like a lot of moms are. As I mentioned, I feel like I was there for a long time. And it's really crucial to understand this because whenever, you know, I share the model, the framework with you guys, it's not like it's just magic. It's not like you're going to be like, oh, I know what to do. And I'm going to do that. A lot of us have kind of been in this cycle for years. And so it's very hard to like, sometimes it can feel very difficult to like break bad habits. But one thing that helps me is to have an awareness of what I'm doing and the consequences that can be created if I do that. And so whenever I'm like in that situation again, it makes me think twice. And so that's why I want to just expose this to you guys. Cause like, I, I didn't realize that I was doing this for so long. And so this is the best way that I could think to explain the binge and burnout cycle that I feel like a lot of moms are in. So it usually starts with feelings. I feel so frustrated. Like, did you see this house? Did you see those dishes? I am so tired of cleaning these dishes up all the time. Like, is anybody else going to help me out with this laundry? Like, y'all just wait for me. Like, oh my gosh, like, it looks like an explosion in my living room. So you feel like this buildup of like frustration and like things should be better. And then you move into step two, which is you're like, okay, enough is enough. Like, I need to get something done about this. Like, I can't live like this. It's horrible. It's embarrassing. Whatever. However you feel about it, I need to make changes. And then what a lot of us do is we start bench cleaning. We are like, I'm going to get this place together, this house together from top to bottom. I'm going to start in this room and make my way across everything. And I'm just going to make everything beautiful. And then we start making progress, but then we kind of hit a block. We kind of hit a roadblock. Basically, we get tired. Why? Because we're human beings. Like, I don't know why we have this expectation on ourselves that we should just be like a ball of energy, but more, more realistically, we're like a battery, you know, <laughs> like a rechargeable battery. And we, there comes a point where we got to stop. We got to take a break. And, you know, you get to enjoy the little bit of progress that you make. But what happens is we need to take a break for a minute, like maybe for the rest of the day, maybe until tomorrow. But then, you know, while we're relaxing and trying to recover, stuff starts falling back up on us again. And you're like, crap, I just cleaned this. I just did these dishes. Like, why are they here again? And oh, I wanted to say one thing about feeling tired. A lot of times I find that moms do not feel like they deserve this break because of what we see on social media, because of what we see, like, you know, maybe from people that we know, we feel like, no, like, why do I need to take a break right now? I should be able to go and power through this thing until everything is done from top to bottom. And when we are not able to do that because we're human beings, we feel like inadequate about that. And we feel like frustrated, like we don't deserve to take this break. But, you know, Mother Nature has a way of making us sit down when it's time to sit down. <laughs> and you're just like, what the crap? Like, 
um, that was one thing I struggled with a lot is like I would sit down to like watch TV or to watch Netflix after a long morning, but I would not be able to have that peace of feeling like, oh, I deserve this. Like, it's like, no, like, why are you being so like lazy right now? That's what I used to tell myself. Like, you know, like, Sasha and all them, their house, they, their house look clean effortlessly. And it must be because they're working all the time. So why can I not, you know, work and keep going like all of them? There must be something wrong with me. My energy must not be as high as everyone else, or I must not be as disciplined. And so it's never, ever a break that you feel like you deserve when you are in this cycle. But then what happens when you take that break to recover and to kind of restore your energy is stuff starts building back up on you. And you're like, what the crap? I just cleaned this. And we go back to the beginning of the cycle, feeling frustrated, which leads into all the other stuff. Let me see. Can I close this? Okay. Anyway, yeah, which leads into the cycle over and over again. And you guys, I know this cycle all too well. And it feels like crap. And one thing I mentioned on my Instagram, if you guys are not on my Instagram, make sure you follow me over there because I plan to bring the fire with motivation this week. But one thing that I said on the on the, my Instagram page is there's a good chance it, that if you're always walking around feeling like crap about your home, there's a good chance that no matter how much you try to clean, that your home looks exactly the way you feel. And that's what I, one thing I really picked up on this. Now this doesn't apply to everybody because there are people out there in this world who feel like crap and their home looks amazing. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about like people like me. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, I really don't understand like how I can just possibly be giving my all to this home. And like, I don't feel like I have results to show for it. And I think that this is why this binge and burnout cycle. So I'm going to, I want to ask you guys a question. I want to know if I'm alone or do you guys feel like you can relate to this cycle if this feels like something that you can relate to. So I'm going to jump back over to the comments over here and see what you guys are saying. Um, this is from Emily. Hey, Emily. Hey, Deshira. Hey, okay. This is definitely a big help. I burned myself out doing too much with zones this week. I was spending over an hour a few days this week in different areas in my zone. Yeah like um learning to stop is really it's actually a, I feel like it's a skill because even when I started the fly lady system um I felt like some tension there when my 15 minutes are over and I'm like okay it's time to stop and I'm like no but I'm so close and learning how to stop before you burn out it's you would think that it's like intuitive, right? But it's actually, I think it's a skill. It's a skill to learn how to back away and to know that I will come back and come and get this later. And it's not easy for a lot of people to do. So I can totally relate. And this is from, um, is it Mark, Gary, and Pam? You are a gifted teacher. Thank you. You guys are so nice. Hey, Melissa, the binge and burnout, my biggest setback. Yeah. And this is from Sharina, decades. This is from Deshira again. I, I need help. I'm a mother of five voice I understand oh yes girl I can relate totally totally relatable so if you feel like you're in that cycle like I said I really hope that um what we'll talk about over the course of the eight weeks will help you kind of break out of that um because you know it really has helped me a lot and then once I kind of broke out of that cycle it allowed me to approach it in a way that felt more productive without all of the negative energy that I felt like I was experiencing before. So we talked about the five limiting beliefs that keep people from starting their systems. We talked about the binge and burnout cycle and why it doesn't work and how it makes us feel overwhelmed. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the solution. So we're going to start talking about the system, the peaceful homekeeping system.